Liman, a use case question for you. You mentioned um, gaming as a great example of something that could be built on Hedera and in particular a leaderboard, a solution for leaderboard um, cheating. So if, you know, in essentially real time, I try to, um, I don't like to say shoot, I try to hug you and you dodge. Um, how does this Hedera assist in this process with given three to five seconds um, time to finality? Yes. What if I try to hug you with extreme prejudice? So what we do, yeah, actually, these are two separate things. Uh, leaderboard and dodging are entirely separate, separate things. Uh, we do have people looking at leaderboard cheating as a thing that Hedera can help with. So the idea is that leaderboard, of course, says who has won the most games or who won a game with the most points or who solved the puzzle with the most points or whatever. The leaderboard is somehow a ranking of all the players. So the leaderboard only gets updated at the end of the game. It's not a I shoot and you dodge and therefore the leaderboard updates. I'm talking about the leaderboard of who has won and what your history, your track record of winning and losing is uh, or your points or who has the highest score so far. There are real problems in online games of people hacking into the leaderboard and just magically changing their score to be a billion or adding their name to the list when they didn't even play the game. They just get their name added to the leaderboard. It is, it is the, exactly the kind of thing that ledgers are good at, right? A leaderboard is source of information that everyone can see. We want to make sure we're all seeing the same thing. We're going to make sure that it only updates according to what it should update to. And so we want to have controlled mutability. It's exactly what we would have. And so if you have the right keys, you can update it. And otherwise you can't. And hackers can't get in and get it. Can't go in and change it. So that's what leaderboard hacking is. Hedera is an obvious solution for that. Um, there is a, I'm going to tell you three things that it's good for. But these things are different. Shooting and dodging is different from the leaderboard. And leaderboard is an obvious application. A second obvious application are in-game assets of various kinds. Anything in a game that is a limited resource, you have the magic armor or you have the super spaceship or whatever. These are things that people in the real world right now buy and sell, and they're worth a lot of money. And you know, maybe you're just sitting on the computer of the game company and maybe that computer is not terribly secure and maybe you don't trust the game company and they could steal your assets or whatever. It'd be far better to have an NFT, a real NFT for these things. And again, the way it would work is that when I want to hand you something in the game, I would do so by, I'm going to give you a certain number of gold coins and you're going to give me your spaceship. I think I'm making genres there. I give you a certain number of gold coins and you give me your magic sword. Um, if we do that, we do it as an atomic transaction where my gold coins and your magic sword are both NFTs and you go to Hedera and you swap tokens. This is a great application as well. And then you don't have to trust the game company to do the right thing. Uh, they, the things that are of real value uh, are of real value. You can even talk about building something like a metaverse where lots of different people are involved in it. And the things of value are not controlled by any one person. They're controlled by a decentralized ledger. Uh, so Hedera is controlling those. That's a second place where games are useful. The third place where games can be used with Hedera is real time, dodging in whatever, or we're playing lots of little short games, even just playing lots of chess games if you wanted to. And the way you would do this, I think I had years ago, I did a podcast where I talked about this or an interview or something. The way you'd want to do it is structured as a large sequence of very short games where this group of people are playing the games. And at the end of each short game, they all jointly digitally sign something saying, here's who won and lost this short little game, or here's how many points each of us won and lost, or here's how things transferred, um, reputation scores transferred, or gold coins transferred during this one little short game. And so if a group of people are playing against each other, a whole sequence of these, so maybe every 30 seconds you have a short little game that involves shooting and dodging. All the players digitally sign what happened. And so because they all signed it, eventually it goes into ledger, you know, minutes later, hours later, eventually you send the ledger a summary of what happened. That'd be fine. It's almost like an L2 system. If one player decides to cheat, if they say, yes, I lost that, but I don't want a millionth of a reputation point to go from me to you, I quit and they turn off their computer without even signing it and you don't get everybody signing the, the uh, outcome. Then that one little last mini game of 10 seconds long just doesn't count. But the game ends, that player is no longer playing. They've lost the ability to interact with these other players. If you play one long two hour game, 
Somebody might rage quit at the end without signing, and that's a bad thing, which is why I recommend not structuring it where all the points get settled after two hours. I say settle the points every 10 seconds. And then if somebody rage quits, all they do is undo 10 seconds of results. Uh, but as long as everyone agrees it's plain that what happened in the last 10 seconds, then everybody signs it. And then eventually a transaction will go to Hedera that records what happened. And since it was signed to everybody, you can't go back and retroactively change the past more than 10 seconds ago. All you can do is undo the last seconds by quitting and then you can't play anymore. And there's a motivation not to do that. So those are the three levels, three of many levels where I see a Hedera playing a role in online gaming. We can do things like preventing cheating, hacking of the leaderboard. That's shared information that can be controlled mutability, controlled by passwords and, and keys and all the normal things that you do. And then we can have shared assets of value. So in-game assets of various sorts. And then we also have uh, real-time things. And the real-time things are for small groups of people that are involved in the particular match continually digitally signing a summary of what's happened so far. And then the worst that can ever happen is someone rage quits that ends the game. Or maybe you say, as long as a certain number keep playing, we'll just take their word for it. And, and you know, a third can rage quit or a quarter or, or two thirds can rage quit, it will be okay. Whatever you want to set it up as. Um, but then they can't retroactively prevent the points they lost or the gold they lost earlier in the game. 